Aaron, how significant would it be for you guys to win tonight, not just to advance, but to also position yourself to be able to rest players and prepare for the next series? I mean, great. I mean, obviously the first goal is to, you know, win a game and then win win the series and, and move on. So, you know, the quicker we can do it, the better. But we also understand and respect, uh, you know, how good of an opponent we're up against. And we know it's going to be difficult. Um, obviously playing here in their home, home park now. And hopefully we can go out and Seve can set a nice tone early and, and, and get it done. But uh, so, I mean, we want to win. So it would be really nice. Yes. Other questions for Aaron? Dave, to your right, Aaron. Aaron, using the same lineup again for the third day, I know it's just as simple as saying, well, it worked the first two times, but I mean, how much else goes into that? I mean, the pitchers have changed. I mean, their strategy bullpen wise could change. Is it as simple as the fact that you've liked the way they've looked in the first two games? Um, a little bit of that. Um, you know, I was. I was going to stay with the exact same personnel today. I did consider moving a couple guys in some different spots today against Odorizzi, but um, do like the look and the flow we have right now. And, and obviously it's a little more healthy, uh, healthier group than we've been. So you kind of have that luxury of, of rolling them out in some, some similar spots. The back left corner buster. Aaron, in what way has Severino improved from start to start? Since he's been back in the big leagues, I think just overall sharpness, command. Um, you know, going back to his first couple of uh, rehab starts. Um, you know, where I didn't see in person, but seeing on video, felt like he got a little better each one. And then his first start with us, I thought was really, really sharp. Um, feel like he's been <clears throat> delivery wise in control. Um, I feel like his command overall has been pretty good. Um, you know, I remember the second game against the Angels where they threw a, a bunch of lefties at us. Um, I thought he handled that well. Obviously, he's going to face a lot of tough lefties in there tonight as well as their tough righties. So I um, feel like he's in a good place physically and, and feel like since really since he started back and, and got on the mound the first time for, for his first side when he was coming back, he's, it's gone you know, according to plan. And and he's bounced back each time. Feel like continue to improve, and uh, feel like he's ready to go out and pitch well for us tonight. Questions for Aaron? Uh, Brian. Aaron, what was the reaction from your guys when the power went out in your clubhouse? It always does here, so we're used to it. <laughs> like, did it does it affect your preparation at all? No, no. We we know when they go in for the hitters meeting, something with the I don't know use of power. It, the lights go off in certain areas and my office for one so kind of goes in and out a little bit yeah, christy in the middle you really didn't get a chance to stretch severino out what can you expect for him in terms of length in these situations um he's he's good to go i mean he got up i think over 80 pitches didn't he um his last start in texas which you know, turned into more of a tune-up. Um, he he was certainly in position to probably go 90 plus pitches. Um, you know, so I we we feel like he can give us, you know, some distance if he's capable. If 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 he's cruising, um, but we also want him to just go out and and empty the tank and know we've got plenty of people behind him to to pick him up if he goes out and sets a really good tone for us. And Buster in the last row. A lot of times when teams have four or five days off the way that you guys did, the, you hear in the postseason they get out of sync. Your hitters are obviously locked in, didn't seem to miss anything. Why do you think that was? Um, good hitters. Um, I think the mindset and the focus, I think they appreciated the days we had down. Um, I think we see that as more of a benefit. Um, you know, we were able to have a couple days where we had sim games going where they were a few of our guys, you know, Edwin and Gary and, and Giancarlo and Luke, some guys that, um, you know, were obviously coming back from injury and, and hadn't had a lot of at-bats, were able to get a number of at-bats. I think that was helpful. Um, but I think our guys are, are locked and ready to go. And, and this time of year, look at those off days as as – really good recovery days and beneficial. And I think we have that mindset. And I think that helps because they look forward to going out and playing when it matters. Andy in the second row. Aaron, in terms of bullpen usage tonight, when you have a chance to uh, eliminate a team, are you all in on 
tonight's game, are you thinking in any way about managing for a potential game four, holding guys back, or is that can that not enter your mind? Yeah, I mean we're 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 going to win. So um, you know, obviously there's things that happen in the course of a game and the course of a night that you know you you got to be mindful of certain things, but we want to win tonight and you know we feel like we're we're in a good position bullpen wise as far as you know guys being rested and being able to stretch guys out if we need to um so you always make it little adjustments that you need to on the fly but you know we're we want to get it tonight other questions for Aaron? nothing else all right Aaron. thanks so much appreciate it